attached to something that's, that's locked to our foundation. So it'll be interesting, you know, we're going to be setting this in here, and our framing is going to be nailed to that. Um, our strip anchor for our bag. This is going to be what we tie our uh, stud frame wall into. And I'm going to set this. Uh, let's see. I want to... I'm getting... Once this bag dry, went in pretty easily, but once that bag dries, it's going to lock it in really well, um, especially uh, horizontally. We'll place another bag on top, and uh, we'll probably want to at least put a little bit of stone or something down under the stud wall so that we're we're not bringing wood all the way down. It's like a, and that's for like a door jam? Or yeah, something. you would do that. Uh, if you were, if this was a door opening here, and you were going to want to put a, a door frame, like a rough buck in here, you'd put strip, strip anchors, oh, maybe every third course. Okay? That would be your anchor point to put your door frame in. The same with a, a window frame. You can do that as well. Okay, if it's just earth bag, this wouldn't be here, unless I wanted an attachment point for some flashing. Um, now that attachment we put in in a different way, and I'm trying to think how we did that. Anybody remember who was in that class? Yeah. Oh, strips of OSB that we nailed in, right? We didn't have a full sheet of OSB. Okay. If we were building a full wall with earth bag or anything higher than two courses, I'd be running two strips of four point barbed wire. If you use only two point barbed wire, it lays flat and it doesn't lock in. Four point ensures that you get something pointing up and pointing down. A little bit trickier to find four point barbed wire, but just know that you got to look, you know, spend a little, just make sure you get it and don't think you're going to run out Saturday morning and grab it um, if you're doing some little earth bag project or. So, uh, at this point, I would lay the two courses of, of uh, barbed wire, and Donnie and Packy developed this very neat little process um, with baling twine and bricks and a carabiner. They wind the twine up uh, around the brick and lay the, the end of it underneath the bag or even tie it up over the first bag. The barbed wire goes here, you unroll the brick, so that it's, it's got some hanging weight to it. You don't want to drop it on the ground. Carabiner it to the string going across. That holds, weights down the barbed wire. Once you do, an, and you do that, you know, every so often down the wall. Once you get another course on, put the next barbed wire, unclip it, unroll it, clip it over here so it hangs, and holds the next barbed wire. And so you're just weaving that back and forth holding that, otherwise the barbed wire also tends to spring up and it's hard to keep it in place. Nice, low-tech, simple system. Um, and that's, you know, you would really continue until, let's say, you needed a window. And then you would place your window buck, your rough buck for the opening, and build the bags up and around that, okay? Or you just have a space held um, and then be putting a lintel uh, to carry the load across that opening and above that opening. Okay. So why wouldn't you use, say, something like a 2 by 4 here for more support or strength? Because um, I don't really need it so much. All I need is an anchor point, and, and that actually is pretty strong. In other words, for a doorway? Yeah. If okay. it's pure, you know, if you're doing it every few courses, every other course, let's say, or um, 
I, I can't remember what Donnie and Kathy do, how often they'll put their anchors, but you really do get a pretty strong, uh, secure attachment point for you. Just get ready. 